three games here because every win is going to count. If they tarnish that record, another team might just take their spot. But let's have that sin beautiful cinematic view as the teams are rotating through the mid lane to control that river area. Let's see where the first blood will occur as oh, Mali oh, is taking quite a bit of damage here, trying to control, but he is sending out Kupal. Do your work. Woof, woof. Well, uh, seems like uh, he will be uh, having the wolf uh, going back and forth, uh, playing fetch. But, you know, this brawl mode's going to take a little while before it concludes. <laughs> but, of course, uh, the Wanderer has already been poked and uh, pushed all around like a football. And here goes Sasa uh, already dishing a lot of damage. Uh, this is going to be first blood going for Onik. Is it going to be? Oh, he takes the buff. He can actually escape out of this. Uh, yeah, but now the red buff is completely wide open. And it looks like they're going to sacrifice it here. And notice how Onik Esports is doing this. Like, yes, this invade is, uh, is probably going to happen. But we need Rossi to kind of like sit in front of our red buff jungle entrance just to ensure that we don't, like, we have the information if Team SMG decides to go for a buff trade, which they do not go for. Mm -hmm. And it uh, seems like uh, the Kaja is going to be going for a relatively low health Bonesy over on the bottom side. So he's either going to be backing away or staying in lane for a little bit longer, which I do not recommend. And yep, we're going to be getting our first blood off camera while anti is going to be the next oh, one to fall. Yes, this is what I've been expecting from Team SMG. This is some good moves. They are playing the map and that's how it should have been much, much earlier, especially against Aura Fire as well. Quick rotations, quick pickups, and it looks like, you know, Sonic was able to put in quite a bit of, uh, sorry, Neo was able to put in quite a bit of work into the enemy, but the quick reply coming in from Onyx Esports, CW and Rossi, the, the wonder duo here, looking to get a pickoff. Big ultimates being used by CW here. No Death Sonata as they look to contest. Wow. Oh Ooh. no, Rossi flicking right on top of Mali, hopefully to stop him from using any of his escape tools, and Rossi ain't Done just yet. That bouncing ball may have denied, but that tyrant is not letting these picks go wasted. My goodness me, how great that was coming in from Rossi. Pinpoint accuracy Ooh. just lands that on top, but why? Oh, that was too close. Saw saw flickers right in front to hopefully get another pick onto Smooth. But Smooth was ready with that flame shot, getting that quick knockback, uh, not allowing Sasa to get that divine judgment off. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, Better map controls coming in from the side of Onyx Esports as they disperse across uh, each respective lanes. Still going to be a 1-3-1 one -one for sure, but with Mali still going in for those side lanes, this is what we we're talking about. The strength of Popo Kupa, uh, of course, uh, is showing right there, but this is a little bit of a questionable play. What are you doing in here, it's Isonic? Yeah, it looks like Isonic definitely, he was positioned in a place where, uh, you know, Onik was already very, very aware of. They didn't get Ah, Divine Judgment, the Purify came out, but not fast enough. Oh, that's going to be next onto the chopping block as Bonesy, looking for some information, ended up dying in response. They got to be so, so careful when they make any kind of play because, again, the pick potential coming up from Onik with just Rasi and Sasa alone is extremely devastating. Yes, indeed. And looking at this current uh, standpoint, of course, uh, Team SMG back to the drawing board. Oh, they whoa, go whoa! Anti-Mage coming in from the back line to clean up everybody on his Phantom Steed. Drian just there to be just peppering them up, seasoning it for that platter that, uh, that, that Anti-Mage has netted for himself. This is going to force them to lose an objective here. Good collapse coming in from Onyx Esports, identifying, hey, your buff is coming back up. Your top laner is missing. We can punish. Well, uh, punish they did, and over on the top side, it's going to be another free tower. Esmeralda definitely have to sit out this one. But for now, if there is Popol and Koopa coming up along the way, uh, they shouldn't have a problem to actually push the wave all the way back. But looking at the current uh, sort of position that they're at, this is one more kill going in favor of Cyber Bomb Esports. Yeah, they're definitely disrespecting this Kaja here. It's like they haven't play, played against, you know, the, uh, they haven't played against the Kaja meta in a very, very long time. And even though Kaja isn't as strong as she used to be, she uh, she's still relevant. I mean, that uh, that, that one-punch ultimate... Well, I, I, well, it's wrong for me to say one-punch, but an all-encountering <laughs> ultimate yeah. like Divine Justice, yeah, yeah, there's no escaping it. Yeah, like uh, you just get dragged all over the place like a ragdoll and... Yeah, it, it feels like uh, when you have Kaja, you, you can easily just uh, toy around with uh, your enemy side. So, Neos is going to be having a little bit of fun. He's like, okay, I, I know I'm not going to be farming right here. Uh, mm. So, 
Yeah, I know you're going to visit the lanes, so just might as well say hi. But here comes oh. Molly coming from the back. Can though. he land this? He needs to land this. Oh, all right. The first flicker comes through. All right. That's not too bad. 120 seconds. Sasa has to wait for making a really, really impressive play with his flicker and Divine Justice. But, uh, Divine, sorry, Divine Judgment. But so far, Onik making sure they completely control the jungle of Team SMG. Ah, and they get the kill onto Popo and Kupo, who walks up a little too far. The, the disrespect. The disrespect. Oh, I mean. He should have have seen that one coming. I mean, uh, the lanes were relatively quiet, mm -hmm. so it should have been pretty much a big invasion going on. SMG now forced to actually hug their turrets. Necklace of Durance over the side of Drian. Already three kills. Flicker coming out from the side of the O as well. Oh. strike. Oh, closely landing, Ooh. but it's not going to be enough. Oh, Molly blocks the shot. Really nicely done. I mean, Anti Mage was trying his real his best there to look for any opportunity, and same goes for CW with that uh, with the uh, death sonata there, but. I think they just have to be really, really careful. Like, Rassi is is willing to disrespect the enemy to hopefully break them out of position and look to catch an isolated target off guard. Seems to me that uh, CW still remains as the best marksman of Group A. Uh, that's no, no denying of that. Well, it's still day number one. Still mm -hmm, many more mm -hmm. matches to go. But as it stands, uh, you just look at how much gold that he has actually rigged up for the side of Onyx Esports. They are hitting 20k real soon and it's not even anywhere near eight minutes so neo just uh, trying to actually get a little bit more of that sort of exp to perhaps challenge the likes of cw eventually as on esports they are now crowding out towards the top side could have been a collision of both ends and they are already trying to take off the wolf yeah, I mean, uh, Kuba, Kuba has quite a bit of health here, and you know, in the Alpha Wolf form, it just gets a little bit better. But as of right now, just look at the way Onyx is just controlling uh, this middle side of the map. They're making sure that both sides of the jungle are unsafe to actually walk in, and they could easily rotate on to an isolated target. So at this point, Team SMG just has to Sasa. give up their tier two. But Sasa with a big flicker again. What did I say about that play? They have to be aware of that flicker. And the next target, Valir walks up too far as Rossi pulls him back in for a free kill. Yeah, this looks really rough. Oh, Sasa oh. almost being dropped upon. Wait, wait. Oh, man. That's Ooh. super unfortunate. Close enough. Yeah, close, close enough. enough. If he had Magic Worship, I think he would have been able to get it there. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, if only the Fireball can actually, the Flame Shot could actually land so far as well, then maybe. The just dream. Maybe. Yeah, the dream. The oh. dream. <laughs> One HP and a dream. All right, but the rest of Onik, like, they they understand that they are in full control over this game. And you can see that even though R Rossi has no team members, it's already been instilled in Team SMG that it is dangerous to walk out. And they have to they have to start positioning their traps a little bit more aggressively, especially when it comes to brushes, to give them that information that, hey, it's not safe to go in there. Definitely going to be a, pretty much a tall order for them to defend this one, but they will... Try nonetheless. Rossi's going in for a dive already, and he's taking a little bit too much flickers out safely. And he makes going in for a stop, and as he's rampaging through the back lines, he will be able to actually escape. But the focus for the side of Onik is only going to be the tower for now. Oh, that's some good defense coming in from Team SMG. I didn't really agree with the engage to push off the Granger, but so far, not bad. They were able to kite out all the other targets. They just have to make sure they don't get punished by this feathered airstrike. And now they're going to lo finally lose their inhibitor down on the mid side as CW's damage is just absolutely insane. He buys his endless battle, and now he is a complete monster. Mm -hmm. oh, and uh, 2.1k. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see what he can do to this turtle. And yep, he blows it off with that final critical shot. Jeez. 2.1 again. Yeah, no big deal. Like 2.1 numbers. Oh yeah, two items. No big deal. Yeah, maybe uh, one tap finish. <laughs> one tap finishes. I can't wait. And yes, they are positioning their their uh, 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 bubbles. Uh, Popal's, <coughs> I keep saying Popal's, Popal's uh, little traps that actually slow people into the trap. Oh, Sasa once again gets a really good catch onto Mali and Smooth is in a lot of trouble. He's taking so much damage from that Death Sonata here, but the rest of the team, especially Anti-Mage, gets pushed on backwards by Valir. Isonic able to uh, divert attention to himself. Oh, but their side laners, Bonesy, just unable to do much here. Flameshot comes out to kind of picker them down 
chunk them to at least their half HP, but they don't have the damage to fully commit to this upcoming fight. And remember, big ultimates has been used, and they have been oh, completely oh, zoned oh. off. The siege tactics coming in from Onyx Esports, really, really well done. And of course, uh, it's not over just yet. They're waiting for one more wave. Andy Mage will try to actually land the finishing touches, but he does go down. It does not matter anymore. First game goes to on Esports. Ooh, a quick 10 minutes game, but I think Team SMG definitely learned a lot from their map. Oh, to get ourselves back in towards the land of Dawn. There we go. Yeah, you asked for sick graphics. That's right. You see the minutes. You see the grass is growing out. Of course, thank you very much, production here. Absolute beauty in the MPL invitation for Nations Cup. Well, put on those glasses and, of course, those dancing shoes because we're going to get this party started. Yeah, I mean, you know, we may not have a live location, but production's really killing it. Oh, Rossi, he knows that he's in trouble. He quickly flickers out. SMG must take note of this because he's not going to be able to flicker out of these situations again for the next two minutes. Oh, what's going on on the bottom side? Oh, 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 I mean, Smooth, he's Ooh. in a lot of trouble here. He quickly buys as much time as possible, and this is what I'm talking about because Smooth is able to transform into his werewolf form and quickly do a bit of a a bit of an alpha strike there to buy some time going invulnerable in that time being. So that's what they were trying to expect, but he does get caught out, and that's not exactly too great for him in the long run. But let's see how far Team SMG can go in this particular matchup. Seems like uh, the top side is suffering a little bit of that uh, poke coming through from the side of Sasa. And mind you, this is just the damage output coming from Angela. And they're going for the chase, and oh! And Last he's hit. dead. Ah, he should have just <laughs> recalled and get Valir to come and clean up that lane. They have to communicate with each other a lot more because Onik, they, they are noticing these bad habits and they are punishing it very, very effectively. Mm, uh, of course, uh, Onik Esports seems like uh, they're extremely comfortable with whatever they're pulling out of the back. And yep, top side well, yet again. Another pick out coming in for the side of Bonesy as they absolutely... Uh, isolated the top side as an island. Yep, and, and that's the thing. Like even though even though Kaja is really good at clearing waves by herself naturally, uh, naturally, with her uh, first ability and her passive, just just to clear it as quick as possible. When you are punished like that and left with no support, you can already see Bonzi is going to lane, but he's being very, very careful to try and get to that tier 3 in case he gets spotted and caught out once again. He is giving up a wave, and now Onik, because of that delayed push, are going to set up for another potential dive. And of course, uh, we are looking at the Link still monitoring the top side. I I'm not too sure. Until Bonzi can hit level 4, then he will be well secure, but... It doesn't seem to be the case. Isonic finally hits level three as well, being the lowest member of, I mean, lowest level member right there. And Bonesy don't even have time to, you know, do a much because he doesn't have flicker. Yeah, and, and you know, one lane needed to be sacrificed, and it was good. And it looks like Team SMG have said, okay, it's going to be top side. We need to stop Anti Mage right here, right now. He quickly pops up because uh, Anti Mage doesn't actually have his ultimate at this point in time. So he quickly goes down. Sasa tries to protect him with the global ultimate there, okay. but they are managing to get on out of that Isonic. Ah, he misses the flame shot. That's going to net him a free death there for the side of Onik as they are going for the dive onto Smooth. They've dedicated too many resources, and they forget how quickly CW can just. Transverse across From the map. Top side, all the way to down below, and that was really, really swift. And not only that, I, I love the, the the commitment coming in from on the esports. Like they knew that they're already dove upon. They've already used every single possible spell that they can get out of that. So uh, that was a perfect chance for them to actually break in a couple more kills. Now we're looking at seven kills in the span of. Less than four minutes. Less than four minutes, you know? That's already a big sign. And I, I, in terms of EXP, you can definitely see that the, the the main characters, you know, the main carries are coming up online while the rest of them are slowly falling uh, falling behind. Like, you expect Smooth to be much further into this game, but looking at CW, he's already got three kills under his belt. 3k in the bag. He's literally 1k higher than everybody else into this game. Malim gets an initial catch on Tarasi here, but that means he's going to die with Sasa making sure that his links and snare him in place as they go in Whoa. rossi once again he doesn't care he's gonna pick up another one cw with the help uh, with the help of angela gets locked down by Ra uh, by razi there by sorry by bonesy there really really good play because that could have been devastating 
We're just looking at CW stomping everybody because he knows that Sasa will protect him no matter what. But Sasa's getting dove upon. He needs a little backup. And oh my, that burst coming from Liu Yin Yang is going to be raking up one more kill for Sasa Brian as well. Oh boy. Things are looking bleak, bro. Yeah, it, it's looking it's looking really bad. And Bonesy, like, he is just so far behind. His lane was sacrificed by the rest of his team, and it's starting to bite the team in the butt. Neo, being the only hope for the team to hard carry into this game, needs more items to turn online. And uh, finally, Smooth, just he's just struggling in general. The mid lane is constantly being pushed in, and he can't walk up too far in case he gets catch, uh, caught out by Rossi. Yeah, like, uh, the moment that Onyx Esports opened up so many options on the table, I, I guess, like, um, in, in Malaysia, you don't really see too many Ling players, so they, they actually opt to pick that up, and look at how scary this Ling is. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a devastating game because Onyx Esports, again, in full control. There's nothing much that Team SMG can really do except play for pick picks here. And I think they should have been doing that much, much earlier into the game rather than finding the full force. But Onyx Esports is just making it so hard for Team SMG to find an opening even to get in as Team SMG forced to play defensive. Of course, uh, we're just uh, waiting to see how can Team SMG hold up against uh, Sasa as well as Brian right here. They know that the buff's going to be coming up online. It's either they risk their life uh, attempting for this buff Turtle or just give over to the side of Onik. Mm -hmm, yep. And Onik now just invading the buffs. We saw this in game one. They're going to take control of your buffs. They're going to take control of your jungle next. They're going to take away your objectives. And eventually, you're just going to suffocate 7k gold lead six minutes into the game. This is way too big of a lead so soon into this game. Mm -hmm. And uh, here comes the monster kill. Coming in for the side of CW. Uh, Even make me choked for a little bit. I'm not too sure how SMG's gonna be feeling. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what Neil was supposed to be doing that far out away from the base, but unfortunately, this is gonna put them at a significant disadvantage as the rest of the team rotating down into the back line as once again, Drian as well as CW just going, just popping off in the back line. They don't even die. Rossi gets kicked with the way of the dragon, but it's not gonna be enough to secure them the kill here as they flicker over the wall to find the catches. Rossi just does not care. He fears no death. He definitely does not figure any evil at all, but they did get one pick off in the form of Antimage. So right now, as it stands, of course, the trade seems to be, uh, of course, uh, definitely favoring on the side of Onyx Esports. But hey, uh, better scenarios for the side of Team SMG just to try to defend for a little bit. So Turtle, no issues for CW as well. Sasa, that Tempest combo <laughs> alongside with Sa uh, Sasa's ultimate mm -hmm. definitely is something that they could have no answer to like it's just really really bad it, it's tough i mean they're supposed to have the options to actually deal with it they have so many ultimates however when push comes to shove they're just unable to react fast enough to how quick ling goes in and goes into her ultimate and the moment he's in the ult uh, in the ultimate there's nothing you can do you just have to either wait out the damage walk away or reposition yourself it's just the fact that on esports the moment that does happen rossi is there to just jump on them to save his life he's willing to switch places with cw in a lot of situations. Yeah, like uh, that sort of bait and switch was really good uh, so far. Like, uh, if any of their teammates are in trouble, they mm. would actually do just that. Okay. Yeah, this, this is, is not a, funny anymore. This is not funny. This is a bloodbath. Like, Onik is destroying Team SMG. Nobody can be left out of place because they will take full advantage. And yep, Sonic oh. is going to get one shot. That backline, there's nothing they can do as they walk into this bottom inhibitor uncontested. And uh, there's nothing Team SMG can do about it. Ah, uh, yep, Bonesy's going to get one shot here. And boom, dead. Next on the chopping block. Oh, Neo, you want some of this? The rest of the team jumps right on top of him with the Tyrant himself locking him down for 0.5 of a second. And that is going to net him another free kill. CW unfazed by the dangers ahead of him. Now, they are just delaying the inevitable right now. Oh That's on the eSports. They're still looking for more. One more kill going over the side of CW. Make that 11 in the back. This might just be in that total of 13. Uh, by the end of it all, he's going for a triple. And uh, is this going to be it? Bozy is still going to be left alive. And it's two games in a row. On the eSports dominates. Oh, that was a devastating game. It's going to be a happy day for the Indonesian standard as it stands strong and still stands above the rest.